Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Spirit in the Hills Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Drew Ingram, and I'm so glad that you have joined us for worship this morning. We'll get started right about 10 o'clock. Until then, you'll hear me tuning up the guitar and getting some things ready. We invite you to say hello and good morning to one another in the chat, and we'll say good morning to you when we're back together. Uh, and so say hi to one another, share uh, a like, and head over to spiritinthehills.org slash live so that you can grab the worship bulletin and the, the songs guide for today. We'll see you at 10 in just a couple minutes. Sing out, Alleluia. 
sing hallelujah we will cry out hallelujah and we will sing out hallelujah good morning everybody welcome to worship with spirit in the hills today i am so glad that god has gathered us together this morning again i'm pastor drew ingram here from my house um, and hopefully soon you know we've been building this building and space together it's an odd time to be doing such a thing uh, when we're so so aware right now that the church is not a building uh, that we don't have to be in a certain space to worship you can worship right where you are in fact we'll talk about how we worship god with our whole lives today as saint paul calls us to be a living sacrifice presenting ourselves before god and uh but we're building this space hoping that uh, our property and our building will be a blessing not just to our church in years to come but to you to you who are watching to our community to our neighbors uh, that it might be a space where people are centered in Christ. They feel the source of all goodness and life. Who is God? They can come and be inspired by the Holy Spirit that they can breathe in and that they will experience God's love that they might share it with those that the world seems not to share love for. I see some of you are popping on this morning. Good morning, everybody. It is good to be with you. Good morning, Melissa and Dan. I hope y'all are well. Good morning, Allison and Joel. Good morning, Frank. Hope you and Joanne, Andrea, and everybody in your house as well. Uh, good morning, Sid and Karen. Good to have y'all with us. And Sid shared. You can find it in the comments. Sid shared, you can go over and find the songbook, the bulletin, that will help guide you through the worship. We're getting ready to sing the first song from it. So head on over to spiritinthehills.org slash live where you can find that songbook and bulletin. It's about halfway down the page. So when you first go to spiritinthehills.org slash live, you'll see this video. Maybe you're already there watching it. If you scroll a little bit down, you can open it up and then we can uh, use it to help guide our time together. I'll also do my best to share and show um, things as we're singing and praying together. So as I mentioned, we're gonna get started with our gathering hymn. It's called, We All Are One in Mission. I invite you to sing together. Let's see. It all shows up on the page before I share it with you. There we go. Let's sing together, giving thanks that God gathers us as one to live out God's mission and work in the world. Gathering us who have different gifts, but all have a gift that someone needs. that can share the love and the grace and the life that God has given us. United by Christ the Lord our Lord. A single great commission compels us from above to plan and put together that all may know Christ's love. We all are called to service, to witness in God's name. Our ministries are different, 
to be with you. I'm going to take a moment right now and invite you to do the same to invite some other folks to worship with us this morning. One of the great things about worshiping together online is that uh, we can share and invite people from anywhere to join us. Uh, It's also great that we'll be able to um, share in this throughout the week. Um, So if you're watching this and it's not Sunday morning at 10 a.m., one, we would love for you to be with us Sunday morning at 10 a.m., but we know that's not always possible. And we want to know that you're here watching with us. Uh, we'll, we'll share your prayer requests and your things of gratitude whenever you are watching this video. So if you are joining in at another time, hello, welcome. You have a space here. You are loved by God and by us. Um, I am going to hit the old share button um, on uh on my page and invite all of you to do the same um, so that we can invite others to worship together today. All right. You hit that little share button at the bottom if you're with us on Facebook. Um, we are getting ready to uh, to continue with a scripture reading. Let me see if I can pull up the right page for us so that you can see it on here too. We're going to have a reading from Romans today. Um, if you want to hear the gospel and, uh, and catch today's sermon, it's already online on our Facebook page and on our YouTube channel. It's the most recent uploaded video on both of those. We'll share the links at the end of our time together. Good morning, Candy. Uh, it's good to have you with us. Hope you and Gary are doing well. Um, and so I'm going to share this reading from Romans today. And St. Paul writes, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of yourselves more highly than you ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body, We have many members, and not all the members have the same function. So we who are many are one body in Christ, and individually we are members one of another. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, prophecy in proportion to faith, ministry in ministering, the teacher in teaching, the exhorter in exhortation, the giver in generosity, the leader in diligence, the compassionate in cheerfulness. And uh, and so a couple of things I want to point out for us this morning. One, um, our worship is about this time together. Our worship is also about how we live our lives. We're a, a living sacrifice. We're to take what God has given us, our very lives, and to give it away for the sake of life for others. We are this living sacrifice that keeps on giving and sharing the love and the grace and the life that God has given us with others so that they might experience that same love and grace and life abundant and everlasting. The other things that I want to point out, um, one, we can, so, I mean, what that means is we can be anywhere. 
to live out our worship. So even as we're gathered in worship together today, um, we're together. We're worshiping. Uh, and each day of our lives, we can live out our worship as we share what we have with others, as we love those who have been told they are unlovable or who feel that way, even if they haven't been told it. The other thing I want to point out is this imagery of being a body together. So while we are to present ourselves as a living sacrifice, we're also this body that does the same thing. The church is this collected group of people with a variety of gifts. And each of us, each of you, have a gift that is needed for the church to live out its sacrificial love, to participate in God giving life for the sake of the world, freeing the oppressed, feeding the hungry, visiting the prisoner, healing the sick. Whatever gift you have is needed. And so we're thankful uh, to be in this work together, to be many gathered into one body, to live out God's work in the world. And I love this verse from we all are one in mission this line our ministries are different our purpose is the same to touch the lives of others with god's surprising grace what would it look like this week to surprise somebody with a free gift of love with a free gift that's what grace is and god's grace is so surprising so that every folk and nation may feel god's warm embrace and then that's maybe a litmus test for us Does the way that we are living out our worship in daily life, that we are living our faith and putting it into action, does it feel like a warm embrace to others? Obviously, we're not giving as many literal warm embraces in this season. So what does it look like to help somebody feel like they are embraced and wrapped in God's love? Just wanted to raise those questions for us today. We're going to sing another song. We're going to sing Take My Life That I May Be. It is in the bulletin as well. So I will pull it up. I believe we have it as the sending hymn today. Um, So it's toward the end of the bulletin. Um, I'm going to invite us to sing the chorus and the first verse in Spanish if you're up for it. And I apologize that mine will not be as good as it should. Um, I continue to practice and learn uh, my Spanish. But I invite you to give it a try to sing in these other languages to remember uh, that we are many and diverse as a church um, and uh, in, in all of these ways and all of these languages and musical stylings, we give worship and thanks and praise to God. So we're going to sing Take My Life That I May Be Together. And while we sing that, you are invited to share a prayer request in the comments. So I'm putting up this little banner so that you can see it. We're inviting you to go ahead and share a prayer request in the comments, because after this song, we're going to spend some time praying together. Let me change this. the scene here. And there you go. Take My Life. That I may take my life that I may be consecrated, Lord, to me. Take my moments and my days, let them flow in ceaseless praise. Give me more. I told you I was going to sing in Spanish, and I forgot. Let's sing together. Que mi vida entera esté consagrado a ti, Señor. Que a mis manos cortaya en el uso de tu amor. Dios mi volantar y hasta tu ya nada más toma así mi corazón y tu con en el tendrá take my silver and my gold out of my wood I withhold take my intellect and youth every power is thou shalt choose Take my life that I may be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my moments and my days, 
let them flow in ceaseless rain. Take my voice and let me sing, always only for my King. Take my lips and let them be filled with you, as for thee. Take my life that I may be consecrated, Lord, to you. Take my moments and my days, let them flow in ceaseless praise. Take my will and make it thine, it shall be no longer mine. Take my heart, it is thine own, it shall be thy royal throne. Tomo Dios mi volantai, hasta tuya. Mas toma si mi corazón y tu con él tendrá. Oh, it's good to be with you all. Thank you for singing with me. Sorry for the, the interruptions there. I, forgot, I, I told you what I was going to do and then I forgot. To do it. Um, it is time for us to enter into a, a period of prayer together. And again, as I mentioned, if there is, uh, if you're watching this later and, and not on live with us, we still invite you to share a prayer request. Um, I go back each week several times and pray for all of these prayers that we have lifted up together. And I invite you to do the same. And one of the ways that you can help folks know that you are praying for them uh, and for what they have asked for is if you just even hit the little like button. If you tap, if you're on your phone or something, if you tap their comment, you can like or reply. Um, if you tap the little like or give a different reaction, uh, it can help folks know that you saw it and that you're, you're praying for and with them as we go together. So we are going to pray. And a couple of ways that you can pray along with us today are uh, to share in the comments. There's going to be different petitions and to share your response. At the end of each petition are the words, Lord, in your mercy, and you are invited to respond. Hear our prayer. Thank you, Joel. Yeah. I mean, it sneezes mid song a couple weeks in a row here. Um, we will uh, We will join in these prayers today. So I invite you to pray with me. Again, at the end of each petition, you'll hear, Lord, in your mercy, and you're invited to respond, including typing in the chat and out loud, hear our prayer. Confident of your care and helped by the Holy Spirit, we pray for the church the world, and all who are in need. Lord, our rock, you are our foundation in Jesus Christ, your Son, whom we confess as the living God. Prepare your church for its mission in bearing witness to Christ, both here at home and throughout the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You call forth praises from the far reaches of the universe to the smallest of creatures. Join our songs to theirs, that a spirit of praise and thanksgiving will arouse us to cherish this wonderful home you give us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord. Direct the leaders of countries, legislators and magistrates, mayors and councils to walk in your ways. Help leaders regard those in need with mercy and fulfill your loving purposes in the government of peoples. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Though we walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve us, deliver us, and fulfill your purpose for us. According to your steadfast love, grant healing and wholeness to those who are bereaved, in trouble or adversity, or sick and in need of care. God, we pray, especially in this season, for all those who continue to suffer from this pandemic, 
those who are without employment, those who are without health care, those who are sick and suffering from COVID-19, those who have recovered but have lasting impact, and for so many more. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You call us into this community, Spirit in the Hills Lutheran Church, in which we, though many, are one in Christ. May we recognize in ourselves and in one another the unique gifts you have given us for the building up of the church for the sake of the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, we lift up these and other prayers. We pray for the Laney family and for the loss of Karen's Aunt Mildred. We pray for Melinda Anderson that she feels the presence of Jesus walking beside her. We ask for comfort for the Swihoski's friend, Norma Scar, that she heals quickly from her recent fall. God, we pray for those who have returned to school and those who are getting ready to return. Uh, continue to guide and bless our teachers, administrators, students, and their families, and all of the support staff. For all of these and so many others, God, we lift up to you, asking that you hear our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, you are the everlasting rock from which we were hewn, and we restore your people to joy and gladness. In blessed memory and hope, we thank you for the lives of our beloved dead. We remember especially Karen Maxwell's Aunt Mildred. Bring us with them to our heavenly home. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, we pray for peace in our nation along with candy, for safe travel to see family again. God, we are missing so many loved ones whom we cannot see in this time. Help connect us by your love and help us get to a place and space of health and safety that we might travel and be with one another again, that we might gather together in person. God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we give you thanks as we welcome the newly baptized into our community as church. Uh, yesterday, we celebrated the baptism of Marin Youngdahl. We continue to give thanks and celebrate your grace given for her and for all of us uh, in your church. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the certain hope that nothing can separate us from your love, we offer these prayers to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The next portion of our time together, I'm going to lead us in another song. And during this song, uh, we're, we're asking for your participation again. So this time, instead of uh, sharing a prayer request, which you're happy to do so, we'll have one more time of prayer uh, and lift them up. And again, we'll pray for these prayer requests throughout the week. Uh, but we're getting ready for a time of offering. So there's two ways that we invite you to share in this offering together as we sing the next song. The first is to head on over to spiritinthehills.org slash give or to send a text message to, and I'll leave it in the comments here. Uh, if you text a dollar amount to the phone number in the chat, you can give a gift to Spirit in the Hills or to one of our ministry partners. You can make it a recurring gift. You can give to our building fund or our general fund or something in particular. Uh, it's a great time to familiarize yourself with this system. You can also continue to mail us checks um, and we'll have more updates about some of our ministries that kick off usually this time of year, like Spirit Blessings in the days and weeks to come.
We are, uh, the other way we invite you to share your offering today is to answer this question in the chat. Uh, what are you giving thanks for? What are you grateful for today? So as we sing this next song, the song is, Will You Come and Follow Me? As we sing this song together, you are invited to share something in the comments for which you are grateful today. It could be something big, something small. What are you giving thanks for? What are you grateful for today? We know that this is part, we ask you to do this as part of our offering because we know that God calls us to share what we have been given and generosity starts with gratitude, with giving thanks and recognizing that everything we have and all that we are is a gift from God. And, uh, and so we wanna share what we are thankful for today. So what's something that you're grateful for today? You're invited to sing along as we share those things in the chat. Will you come and follow me? It's the last song at the end of the bulletin. It's also on your screen now. Let me move this banner, but remember to share what you're grateful for today. I'll move that banner so you can see the whole thing. Here we go. going to sing verses one through three now and we'll, we'll pick up the other two in just a minute will you come and follow me and find the call your name will you go where you don't know and never be the same will you let my love be true will you Will you let my life be grown in you and you in me? Will you leave yourself behind if I but call your name? Will you care for cruel and kind and never be the same? Will you risk the hostile stare? Should your life attract or scare? Will you let me answer prayer in you and you in me? Will you let the blinded see if I let go your name? Will you set the prisoners free and never be the same? Will you kiss the leper clean and to such as this unseen? Will you laugh and admit to what I mean and you and you share those things for which we are giving thanks today. Ah, many of us are grateful for the rain that we've had over the weekend. I see a few of them, Frank and Melissa and Sid and Karen, everybody thankful for the rain uh, that nourishes the earth. And it was a great uh, time to remember our baptism and to celebrate and give thanks uh, as Allison mentions, giving thanks for the baptism of her goddaughter, Marin, yesterday, beloved child of God. Audrey says she's grateful for her dog, technology, family, and friends. Shelly is grateful for spending last week with her parents. Yes, and Shelly, we're continuing to hold your mother in prayer as she recovers. Uh, Kenny's thankful for family. Joel says he's grateful for his wonderful goddaughter, Marin, for family and for this church, 
for books and learning something new. We're grateful for so many things. God, help us to recognize these gifts that you have given us and to share them in ways that build up your church and your people. We're going to sing together the last couple of verses, verse 4 and 5 of Will You Come and Follow Me? And we'll have a time of prayer, uh, one more song, and then we'll share the peace and head on our way. So let's sing these verses 4 and 5. Will you love the you you hide in? Your name will you quell the fear inside that never the same? Will you use the faith you found to reshape the world around? Thus, I withdrew my sight and touch and sound. In me, Lord, your summons echoes true when you would call my name. Let me turn and follow you and never the same. In your company, I'll go where your love and footsteps show. Thus I'll move and live and grow in you and you in me. Thus I'll move and live and grow in you and you in me. Allison, I love verse 4 too. I'm sorry I flooded a couple of the words. Um, but they are powerful and wonderful. Um, these songs like this one um, that imagine us to, to sing in God's voice are always um, interesting and can be particularly meaningful to hear uh, God calling us in this way. So I give thanks to John L. Bell for this uh, song that we get to sing together. Um, we're going to sing Built on a Rock in a few minutes, um, which is listed as our hymn of the day. And we remember, uh, this is we our gospel reading today. Jesus starts calling Simon Peter, or Rock, uh, and says, On you I will build this church on this rock here. Um, if you want to check out today's full liturgy, including some links to our videos um, of our, our gospel reading and sermon, as well as a children's sermon that we call a minute message here at Spirit in the Hills. You can head over to that liturgy and check that out. The videos are also by themselves um, posted individually on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. Um, we invite you to go check those out after worship has ended this live portion of worship in just a couple of minutes here. Uh, we invite you to join us for a Zoom call at 11, where we get a chance to talk to one another, to engage, to catch up on how the week is going, and to offer any prayer requests uh, that weren't offered during this portion of our time together. So we invite you to join us at 11 on Zoom for that. If you want the link, head over to spiritinthehills.org slash live. At the bottom of the page, there's a green button that talks about the Zoom information. You click that, and it'll take you to everything you need to know. Also, if you want that information and you're watching with us live, you can comment in the chat, and we'll get you there. Um, we'll get all the information to you before 11 in the next kind of 20 minutes or so. Um, sign up for our weekly email list. It's a great way that we can keep in touch with you and that you can know what God is up to in our lives, but that we can connect with you and hear what God has been up to in your life. You can go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Spirit in the Hills, and right at the top is a blue button that says sign up. Click that button, and you will get uh, things like our Sunday morning email liturgy sent to you. You'll get an email from me that begins with a devotion and has various announcements about what's going on in the life of the church every week in the middle of the week, um, and we'll make sure uh, that we can stay connected with you. 
Let's sing together one more time, and then we'll share God's peace with one another and be on our way. We're going to sing um, verses 1 and 5 of Built on a Rock. shall stand even when steeples are falling crumbled have spires in every land bells still are chiming and calling calling my young and old to rest calling the souls of those distressed, longing for life everlasting. Through all the passing years, O Lord, grant that when church bells are ringing, Many may come to hear your word, who hear this promise is bringing. I know my own, my own, know me. You, not the world, my face shall see. My peace I leave with you. Amen. As those final words to that song we hear from God, uh, that God's face we shall see and God's peace is left with us. So let us share that peace with one another. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with you and with you and also with you we invite you to share that piece with one another you can do so in the comments if you're uh tuning in and worshiping with us with other people near you give them a hug a high five let them know that you love them that god loves them that god's peace is with them uh pick up your phone give somebody a text and let them know that they are loved by god and by you uh give them a message of peace and reassurance in this time so peace be with you all to share here we go yeah share that piece with one another um and we'll see many of you online on zoom again if you need that link spirit in the hills.org slash live scroll down to the bottom green button click it it'll direct you uh and give you all the information you need to join us on zoom at 11 o'clock for a time of fellowship until we see each other again the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will see one another soon. It's good to be with all of you today.
Thank you.